Answering the call of the warfighter, testers at Edwards combined efforts to bring the latest striking capabilities to the B-1 bomber in 2012 by completing its laptop-controlled targeting pod Phase 2 upgrade. The, uh, the previous system, the Phase 1 of the in integration, was uh, driven by an urgent need request out of CENTCOM in order to provide a, a precise targeting solution uh, on the B-1 weapon system. That first phase integrated this, the targeting pod but still required the weapon system operator to manually enter uh, any coordinates that were derived from the target pod, which only allowed the target pod to be useful on stationary targets. Those limitations drove the team to test a way of integrating new abilities for the B-1's targeting pod, known as Phase 2. Now with the second phase, what we're looking at doing is not only having the ability to complete the loop of the targeting pod, but also include the ability to drop laser targeted bombs from the B-1. So not only can I track and identify uh, the targets on the ground, but I can strike moving targets. That is a crucial capability uh, that we have with this upgrade. And that new upgrade allowed a team from the 419th Flight Test Squadron at Edwards and the 337th Test and Evaluation Squadron from Dias Air Force Base, Texas to successfully drop and hit moving targets from the B-1 with a GBU-54 laser joint direct attack munition at China Lake in November 2011. We had a very cooperative environment between the developmental and operational testers and our system program office to make sure that we were testing the bare minimum required to ensure a safe, effective system was fielded. So we collected a lot of good data for DT and OT at the same time every single mission. And the other huge success of that test in November was that we worked with a very compressed timeline to meet a deployment goal to get this to the field in January so this can get to the fight and be, uh, be usable for a combat crews going out next deployment. Jet Fabera, Edwards Air Force Base, California.